Hello Facebook, welcome to Put What Where, Why and How. I am your creative organizing consultant, Mike Raish, and today's topic is about digitizing and living the digital lifestyle. Before I go into the topic though, I have some really cool news. Um, for those of you that have been following me, um, you know that I'm a promoter of creativity as a lifestyle, and I have had a great opportunity to teach creativity or creative problem solving at GCC Albion's campus this first semester, um, this fall semester. It was my first semester uh, teaching creativity. And I just found out today that the students in my class nominated me to be the instructor of the month. And I was <laughs> so humbled by that because I felt like I was treading water trying to like come up with a course plan and teach these young minds uh, how to be creative. And they were really impacted by my teaching style. And I'm just feel really validated um, because it's it's a lot to be like I'm a professor now um, thank you <laughs> Stephanie so yeah so that was really really cool I'm so humbled by that award so like thank you students for for enjoying my classroom on to the topic which is digitizing your media and living a more digital lifestyle and like what benefits there might be to focusing your tasks and all your stuff into a personal device like an iPhone or whatever it is you're carrying around in your pocket. So digitizing, I think the number one thing, and it can also be to a fault, that digitizing gives you is that you have immediate access. So being a minimalist is all about having an ease of access to the things you need. And when we have so much documents and so many photos, then there's too much to sift through in the real world, but, um, and we don't have to like go to a filing cabinet or anything like that. It's literally in our pocket and we're like, oh, let me whip out this picture of so-and-so to show you, or let me whip out this document um, real quick and we can discuss the whatever. So having those things in your pocket, you might not even be home. You can like be out for coffee and you're like, oh, well, I have this picture but I can't show you because it's not here and you're probably never gonna come to my house and whatever. <laughs> so like having it digitized and having it available is amazing. Um, so especially if like you're someone that stores your photos like in a box in the attic, like <laughs> you have to make an event out of getting those photos out and they don't serve purpose in the moment where they would be most useful. So an ease of access is a huge reason to go digital. Um, the number, another reason to go digital is the actual space. So um, in the real world, often physical documents, photos, um, or notes, or anything, um, they start to build up in the physical world and take up space, uh, valuable counter space, uh, valuable workspace, and that's no good. So Digitizing allows you to still have all of your stuff without it taking up valuable, uh, workable space in the real world. Now, there are limitations to space in the digital world as well, um, but the space there is much easier to expand. If you're in a house, your house is only so big, and yeah, you can build a garage or a shed, um, and you can order a storage unit that's somewhere else but you can't just like order more space off of Google in your physical space, <laughs> but you can with digital. So when it goes digital, you can just have it on the internet and you can have it protected so it's not on social media, but like you can have it and you can expand the amount of space that you have available. And for most people, the amount of space that they need is not very expensive to expand to. Certainly way less expensive than building a shed. So having digital space be taken up versus physical space, huge benefit. Um, and also what's really cool about the digital space thing is you're allowed to hang on to stuff and not have the guilt of it being everywhere or taking up the space. So 
it's kind of like having a storage unit. But the, the cool thing is, again, it's in your pocket. So expansive, you get to put it away, but have easy access to it. And that's like a dream, is it not? Um, the other really cool thing about going digital, um, and this expands uh, to other things like to-do lists and calendars and directions and all the things, if you find out how to do the digital stuff that you do already in the real world, they all start to connect to each other. So it's really magical, for instance, when I have something in my calendar and it, I put in where I'm going and when I'm going to it, and then I don't have to do much more work after that, but then my phone reminds me that I have something going on and I need to start getting ready to leave. And then once I'm leaving, my car is already telling me how to get there and when I will arrive. Um, and you can go as far as like, have it automatically send messages to, to the people that are involved, to let them know that you're on your way and all that jazz. So productivity is the, the potential for doing less work and having more pr productivity is definitely there when you go digital. Uh, and then also, you don't have to carry around a calendar or a to-do list or these other items that you would otherwise need on you in the moment of making an appointment when you're out for coffee or whatever. So everything being connected is super, super helpful. And the most beautiful thing, best for last, for going digital is categorical thinking. So categorical thinking is the way that we are kind of designed to think, and it helps us think mm, or make judgments more easily because when we group things like things together, we can kind of label them and then we know where to find those things later or we know what to do to deal with those things. So when you are thinking in categories, um, which is how computer systems are designed, you're able to make more categories in the digital world than you are in the physical world. So in the physical world, when you have a thing, you're like, okay, this belongs in the kitchen, in drawer number one, great. But like, that's the only way you can find that thing. And you should do it that way. But let's say with digital files, you get a little overwhelmed because you have a lot going on. You've got all these jobs and projects in school you went to and you saved all your homework and all the things, but you still want to reference these things. You can search very easily not only by tags that you assign to them very purposefully, but like if you remember content that was inside of the homework assignment or whatever, you can search a word or two and that homework assignment will pop up. That took me five seconds to find this homework assignment I did in high school because I go, oh, it was about Komodo dragons and I don't remember what folder I put it in or whatever, but I know it's on my computer somewhere. Search the whole thing and boop, it's there picture it in the real world, oh, where is that project about Komodo dragons? Go downstairs, find the box that I put it in, open up the box, sift through it, nope, <clears throat> well, here's some school projects, now I have to, and now even if you do have it super organized by like alphabetical order or date or however you think about things, um, it's still significantly harder to find it in the real world than on the digital world, as long as you're familiar with the basics of technology, of course. I do understand the intimidation of technology. Um, but that is why learning technology would be in your best interest if you're looking for more time, more productivity. Uh, it's a machine. It does work for you. <laughs> it's, it's really great. Um, that all being said, if y'all need help with technology, I worked for Apple for six years, um, and I worked as a creative teaching people how to use their devices to help them be more productive or do the projects of their dreams and all that jazz. So please feel free to reach out. I am available for those types of lessons. And um, when it comes to decluttering, I am available to help uh, declutter the amount of space that you have, which I do want to spend one moment giving you a couple of tips on how you might approach going through digital files, um, which is much like you would do in the real world. And that is, I would suggest starting large. Um, so making the decisions on the things that there seems to be taking up the most space. 
digital or physical. Um, because if like your clothes are all over your house, then the clothing is probably the first thing you want to tackle, which is often many people's problem. Um, you wouldn't want to like organize the the battery drawer when you have clothes everywhere, right? So on the digital realm, you want to get rid of things that are large in terms of like videos. Videos are usually a pretty good starting point, um, but not everybody's collects the same type of information. So. If you have videos, I would start with those because those are usually the largest video fi or largest files that take up digital space. <laughs> I'm laughing because I dropped my phone twice in this live feed. Um, yeah, so start big, find all the videos that you don't need anymore, and purge them, and you'll find that a lot of space pops up. Empty your trash can, that one's an easy one. Photos would be next. Um, and believe it or not, email can really build up, especially if you have a lot of attachments. So these are just a few things to think about when trying to declutter your digital space. Um, but what I what I encourage people to do is to move some of the physical stuff that might be weighing them down in this realm and make it more effective and efficient and accessible in the digital realm to lighten that load. Uh, and then you can kind of deal with them um, maybe never, <laughs> uh, but digital space is much more expansive and it's also not actually taking up space in the real world, which is like kind of fun. <laughs> All right, well, it's been fun, you know, dropping my phone a few times. Um, and I hope that this outlined a couple of benefits to going digital and using technology to help you be more minimalist thinking less stuff to have to carry around, and it does so much work for you. All right, guys, um, please reach out if you need help going digital. I am currently running a project where I want to collect um, photos and documents from people that are looking to do this process exactly. So please reach out if you're looking for help. Um, tis the season. All right, thanks for hanging out, love you, bye.